Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Caesar. I mean, look at those teeth. It's like I might have to become one of these dog show guys. You know, it's uh, not something I planned on necessarily, but when fate deals you a hand like this, you gotta play it. I don't know about all of that, but I do know that a spotted coat like he's got could really beguile a rooster. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Just that Marcus over on 6th Avenue has been known to let a small dog like this get in on the action. Yes, we ain't taking Seesaw the cockfights. Come on now. Fine. Wrap the damn thing up in a blanket and breastfeed it. What the hell do I care? Penny, get your butt back upstairs and go to bed! God, I just wonder what he's thinking. I wish he could talk. I wish squirrels could talk too. That would be so cool. Really, dude? I, I don't know, man. Probably just be a bunch of chatter about acorns. Ah, look. Incredibly cute dog in the corner. I like it. I like it. Hey, let me borrow the dog for a minute. I think the ladies over there would love to meet him. No way and go away. Really? Because I don't know, dude. It'd be a shame if Dominic found out you had it because he's got a pretty strict no pet policy. Are you saying you're going to tattle on me to the landlord like some little good boy? Yeah, dude, I am. What do you think about that? The gauntlet has been thrown down. Make a decision. Fine. Two minutes. And Lucas is wearing a watch, so we ain't screwing around. In the glow. Yeah, dude, whatever, dude. I'll simply stab you in the heart. Ugh. I don't care. I'm crazy. I don't care about nothing anymore. You know, one time I saw him eat 20 packets of mayonnaise for lunch. <laughs> well, I mean, everybody's got to eat lunch, booty. Have you ever done that? Me? No, God no. You know, I mean, not with mayonnaise. 